Mr. Jordan for five minutes. Thank you, uh, thank you Mr. Chairman. Mr. Uh, Pachai, is Google going to tailor its features to help Joe Biden in the 2020 election? Uh, Congressman, we approach our work, uh, you know, we support both campaigns today. We think political ads is an important part of uh, free speech and uh, democratic societies. And we engage with uh, campaigns, uh, you know, according to law and we approach our work in a nonpartisan way. It was a yes or no question. Can you assure Americans today you won't tailor your features to help Joe Biden in the upcoming election? Uh, you know, we support work that campaigns do. I just want to make sure I, I'm I understand that. that. We all we all we all do all kinds of online social media, every all kinds of that kind of, that that, that uh, outreach, that communication. This is a simple question. Can you today assure Americans you will not tailor your features in any way to help specifically help one candidate over other? And this this what I'm concerned about is you helping Joe Biden over President Trump. We, we won't do any work, uh, you know, it, to politically tell anything one way or the other. It's against our core values. But, but, but you did it in 2016. There's an email in 2016 that was widely circulated amongst the executives at your company that got public where Ms. Eliana Marillo, head of your multicultural marketing, talks about the silent donation Google made to the Clinton campaign and you applauded her work. She, she points that out in the email. I'm just curious, if you did it in 16, I want to make, and, you know, in spite of the fact you did it in 16, President Trump won, I just want to make sure you're not going to do it again in 2020. Uh, Congressman, I, I recall our conversation that, uh, at that time, and I appreciate your concern. We didn't find any evidence uh, of such activity. And I took the opportunity after our conversation to reinforce uh, to the company, we realized even an appearance could be improper. So we have clearly communicated to our employees any personal political activity, while that's their right, needs to happen on their own time and resources and should avoid any use of well, company. Of course, everyone's got their First Amendment rights to campaign for who they want. What they can't do is configure your features to help one candidate over the other. So you might have not have found any evidence, but here's what she wrote to the email to a number of key executives in your company. Quote, we push to get out the Latino vote with our features. Second quote, we push to get out the Latino vote with our features in key states. Seems to me those last three words are the real qualifier here. That's electioneering when you're trying to increase the Latino vote in key, in key states. And she'd already communicated that she was supporting Clinton, that she wanted Clinton to win. So when she talks about increasing the Latino vote, which she assumed was going to help candidate Clinton, and she's doing that in key states. It's one thing if you're going to increase the Latino vote around the country. If you're just a good corporate citizen, you're urging people to vote. It's quite another when you're focusing on in key states. And you know what those key states were? Nevada and Florida, the swing states. So again, I want to make sure this isn't going to happen in 2020. I can assure you that uh, we complied with laws in 2016. Uh, as a company, any work we do around elections, uh, is nonpartisan. Uh, users do come to us for understanding where polling places are, where to vote, which is the date to vote, what the voting hours are. We are committed to providing that information, and I can assure you that we will approach our work. So, so uh, Mr. Pichai, here's here's the question I think is on so many Americans' minds. They saw the list that we read here earlier on in our opening statements, all the things Google has done. Google is siding with the World Health Organization over, over anyone who disagrees with them, even though the World Health Organization obviously lied to America, obviously shills for China. Google's siding with them. YouTube is siding with them. We have the history of all the things Google has done and the history of what happened in 2016 in the election where they obviously, according to one of the, your, your multicultural marketing executive, tried to help Clinton and here we are 97 days before the election, and we want to make sure it's not going to happen again. We want to make, can you give us two assurances? One, you're not going to try to tailor your features, configure your platform in a way to help Joe Biden. And second, that you're not going to use your search engine to silence conservatives. Can you give us those two assurances today? Uh, co Congressman, on our search engine, uh, conservatives have more access to information than ever before. And we, we appreciate that. That's not, that wasn't the question. Uh, can, can you assure us today you're not going to try to silence conservatives? And can you assure us today you're not going to try to configure your features, as Ms. Murillo said you did for Clinton in 16? Can you assure us today you're not going to do the same thing for Joe Biden in 2020? Uh, you know, you, you, ha you have my commitment. Uh, it's always been true, and we'll continue to uh, conduct ourselves uh, in a neutral way. Appreciate it. Yield back.
The chair now recognizes the gentlelady from Pennsylvania, Ms. Scanlon. Thank you, gentlemen. I'd like to uh, redirect your attention to antitrust law rather than fringe conspiracy theories. Uh, Mr. Bezos, our investigation- Mr. Chairman, uh, we have the email. There is no fringe- It's not your time. Mr. Jordan, you do not have the time. Be please but, be respectful but, but of your colleague. Someone directly, she controls directly, the time. Directly, Put your mask on. Mr. Put your mask on. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Raskin. Mr. Mr. Jordan. You want to talk do, about masks. Mr. Jordan. Ms. Why Scanlon. Why would the Deputy Secretary the of Treasury unmask Mr. Michael Flynn's Mr. name, Mr. Scanlon. Raskin? And what I want to know Mr. is Scanlon, when someone comes after my motives for asking questions, I get a chance to respond. The gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.